This is where it all began in February 1916, at a tavern in Zurich's old town, not far from where Lenin, the father of the Russian Revolution, was living in exile. The tavern is called Cabaret Voltaire, the birthplace of Dada. It was a hub for all the avant-garde movements that existed at the time. The raucous evenings included presentations of Cubist, Expressionist and Futuristic art, but also performance arts. Featured artists included Vasily Kandinsky, Paul Klee and Sophie Tauber Arp. In a legendary painting, Marcel Janko, a co-inventor of Dadaism, recaptured the raucous atmosphere of these evenings. In an interview with Swiss TV, he talked about what the Dadaists were trying to achieve. Da haben wir überhaupt gedacht zum ersten Mal, dass Bauernkunst, primitive Kunst, dass der Mann in den in den Kavernen, welcher ohne Unterhosen auf den Wänden so schöne Malereien gemacht hat, ohne Akademie und ohne jede Schulung, dass das die richtige Kunst, den, die, den Dada sucht. Aha, aha, aha. Later in 1916, Hans Arp joined the Cabaret Voltaire group. Arp was an intellectual poet and plastics artist who seemed to follow the principle of letting art happen by chance. Der Zufall oder die Arbeit mit dem Zufall ist eigentlich, dass sich hingeben dem eigenen Unbewussten. Das heißt, er ist als Künstler, der mit den Händen Konstellationen auslegt, eigentlich das Medium für das, was sein Unbewusstes ähm, formulieren möchte. Was ist los mit dir, mein Schatz? The Dada movement brought together a lot of disciplines and was perhaps the most decisive single influence on the development of 20th century art. With the movements you mentioned, like punk or also the beat generation, fluxus, uh, situationists and letterists, etc., they all make clear references to Dada. You can even make lines into this other very Swiss movement, uh, constructivism or concrete art, with Sophie Teuber Arp and Max Bill. Da, da, da. Performance arts were an important Dada component. Cabaret Voltaire's founder, Hugo Ball, dressed in a bizarre cardboard costume and chanted his sound poetry. The Dadaists wanted to open the way to a new art and a new society, to undermine what they saw as the stale cultural conventions of a decayed European civilization which had led to the First World War. They would like uh, provoke people um, and shout at them or, you know, curse at them. But then with Amy Hennings, who uh, has a lot of experience in cabarets as a dancer and singer, she would seduce them. So she would maybe take a song everybody, everybody knows and just change one or two words. It's a mix between, let's say, a punch in the face, but also a seduction of the audience. By 1917, the excitement generated by the Cabaret Voltaire had fizzled out and the artists moved on to other places. The building that had spawned Dadaism fell into disrepair, but it was restored in 2004 and continues to host events and exhibitions that pay tribute to the movement and keep its memory and purpose alive. What a beauty, 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 what a beauty,